Now listen, people are here right now because we have let them and we have not done an effective job of um, guarding our borders like nations from the beginning of Genesis have always done. And we've not done a good, and here's the reason why, by the way, there's two signs one guy said, and I really agree with him, two signs down there at our southern border. One that says, do not enter, and the other one says, help wanted. And we want you to come because you're poor, oppressed, and tired, and we can pay you less than other lazy Americans because we've got a broken welfare system that de-incentivizes people from working. One-seventh of our national economy right now goes to merit-based welfare systems that are creating dependence on our government and perpetual need for charity. And that is not loving. Let me, here, I, I wrote this down. Let me just give you four sentences of my ideas on this. America has to start doing the right thing. We will no longer be the land of opportunity if we don't do the things we need to do to create and stay an opportunity society. That means spend less, address debt, fix welfare problems by making it work for the poor, not against them, by encouraging people to work not to be dependent on government or perpetual charity. The system is broken when we have people who can do better by not working than working. It is inconsistent with scripture. We have to repent of unfair wages offered hardworking Americans. We have to deal with educational injustice, secure the border, deal with the shadow community that's out there by allowing them a chance to self-identify, get in line, make amends, and contribute to our nation. Now, how we do that is going to take a lot of nuance, and that's not my purpose this morning, but that's got to be your attitude. That we've just got to start by just saying, listen, gang, we've got to get our house in order and not just invite people into a house of dependency. Dependency. 